Hey everybody, I wanted to make sure that I uh, did problem number six. It's a little bit of a, we got two objects, so that means we're going to need to write down two equations. So um, we have our first little ball, and then we have our second one right here. Um, so it has a speed of 2.5. And then we have another one moving at a little speed of 3.5. And let's be clear, neither one is accelerating. But I want to write down relevant equations for each one. So for ball number one, um, S is U times T. And for our second little sphere, um, what I want to say is that <clears throat> it is moving backwards, and I want, so, so here's the idea for number two. It also has a, an equation similar to s equals ut, but, whoa, but, okay, the problem is it goes in reverse and starts at 8.0 meters. So for the ball on the left, we can say S is 2.5 times T. That's the equation that describes its motion. And so its position is given as 2.5 times T. Now for the ball that's going backwards, its position equation is going to be, well, it, at time equals zero, it's going to start off at eight meters. And then as time goes by, it has this speed of 3.5, but that speed is going in reverse or backwards. So I put a negative sign there and I times it by the time. So what I'm basically saying here is that the position of the second object, 3.5 meters per second, going at that speed, is when time is zero. If you plug in zero for time here, you'll see that it starts at eight. And that as time goes by, its actual position gets less and less. If I were to draw this, okay, I would put number one here. And I put number two here. And what's happening with the equation for number one is, if you actually plug in numbers, you'll see that it moves forward like that. If you put in, equation, put in numbers for um, the second one, it actually starts off at eight meters and ends up going backwards until they hit here. And now what we have is a situation where we have two equations and they have two unknowns. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually solve this by substitution. And so what that means is, I'm going to actually write 2.5 times t is 8.0 minus 3.5 times t. Uh, and uh, I'll do a little bit of algebra here. I'm going to add 3.5t to both sides. I'm going to be faster with my algebra this year. So this ends up being 6.0t is 8.0, and t ends up being 1.3 seconds. And then I can substitute that back into my s formula. So s is 2.5 times the 1.3 that we have here. And when we actually solve that, um, we get that 2.5 
times 1.3. is 3.3. So they meet at the 3.3 meter mark. I'm just going to check one small thing. Now, because of rounding errors, Um, what you end up getting is, uh, I think you might get something closer to, if you plug it into here, you might end up getting 3.5. That's actually just a small little rounding error, and I wouldn't worry about it. So you're actually close enough here, and this is the correct answer. So that's number six.